my new job this week. Uh, I've just been sat trying to work out the computer system because it's a different computer system to what I'm used to. Not gonna lie, it's really confusing. My brain is fried, but it can only get better. That is me finished and home. I'm so tired, oh my God. Oh, why is it when you learn new things, it drains your mind? <laughs> I get home and I'm just like, I just wanna switch off now and just go to bed and it's only like five o'clock. But yeah, great day today. Uh, learning the new computer system is, is okay. Uh, it's just not what I'm used to, but I think the more I do it, the better it's gonna get, it's gonna be fine. Tomorrow I'm gonna sit with one of the other nurses so I'll learn a bit more on the computer system and what they do and how they do the stock and things like that. It's all just learning little things that I don't know about the new practice. Um, and then Thursday, I'm going to go and do COVID vaccine clinic because they need someone to do that. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that with my broken foot. No problem. <laughs> Be fine. Solid. Solid as a rock me. Um, and then Friday, uh, I've got my own clinic set up. So I'm going to do baby immunizations and I've got a cheeky smear test that's been thrown in. Uh, but I did that myself with the nurse today because we couldn't do it today for the patient. So I said, I've got a clinic Friday, just put them at the, at the end of the clinic somewhere. Uh, so that's what we did. Um, so yeah, so that'll be interesting because for baby immunizations Friday, I say it'll be interesting. It's a little bit scary because I'm on my own. Whereas at the last clinic, we were very pampered. We had our wonderful Jessica who did everything for us. All of the IT systems, she did all of the ordering, all the stock take, she did everything. I just had to show up, inject babies and leave. That's literally all I had to do. Got to do everything myself. <laughs> I've got no idea how this is going to go, but it's going to be hilarious. Um, but as long as I, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm giving to the baby. That's the main thing. It's just the after bits, the computer system, documenting it, making sure I put the right dates and everything, do the right templates and things like that is the, the bit that I need to get right. But yeah, I will get there and I will let you know how I get on as I go. So yeah, that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's Friday. I'm at the end of the week. I've been busy. I haven't been able to do any videos. I'm so sorry. Wednesday, I was just doing PGDs, paperwork, sat in with the nurse. Had a really good day actually. Learned quite a lot from this nurse. Um, and then yesterday I was on COVID vaccine clinics, which was really good, really interesting. Uh, nice to see how other practices do things differently. So that was really, really good. Um, but yeah, all in all, had a great day. And today, it's Friday, it is 9.44. I'm just getting ready for my first patient at 10 o'clock. I've got baby ins today on my own. This is a little bit nerve wracking for me, but I've literally, I've just gone through the list now. I've got all my lists, so I've got eight. I wrote down what they're all here for, what ins they need. I've got my schedule. This is what I did at the last clinic. It was organized and this is the way I need to be today. Um, I've gone through the care records of all the babies just to make sure that they're all okay, no problems, no um, allergies, stuff like that. Prepare them before they even get into the room. So I've spent half an hour literally doing that before I even start today. Um, and hopefully it's going to be a good day, but I will let you know as I go. Fingers crossed, everyone. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a nervy person, but I'm nervous for this one. Uh, but I'll let you know how it goes, guys. And yeah, fingers crossed, it's going to be okay. Oh my God, I just had the cutest little preschool booster ever. Who sat on their own, they had their injections, they picked some stickers and they left. It was so cute. Not even a little tear, nothing. Didn't even flinch. She was solid as a rock, this little child. I'm just so impressed right now. I love it. I just, I don't know how some of them are so brave and some of them just go to mush. <laughs> oh. But that's me done. That's me done for the morning. Um, it's 10 past 12 now. So I'm just going to do all my admin bits, finish all them bits up and then I'm going to have some lunch and then do it all again for the afternoon. So it's the end of the day. That is me done for the day. I'm just finishing off some paper stuff and I'm out of here. Uh, afternoon went well. A couple of no-shows, which is a shame. So I rang them, no answer. So I've sent them a text. Um, but apart from that, it's been all right. It's been a good day. I've survived. I can do this. 
Um, I've got no idea what I'm doing with the Red Book stuff for the babies, so I made a small error. Not a small error, but I wrote it in the wrong bit. It's still in, in the immunisations bit, but I know for next time, don't I? Um, but apart from that, it's all good. It's all good. And I am out of here, ready for a good weekend. So I'm off and I can actually do a vlog properly. I've got Wi-Fi in the house now so I can upload the vlog because I haven't been able to upload uh, vlogs properly, which has been oh, the bane of my life. The last vlog I did, the life updates, took two days to upload on my normal phone Wi-Fi in this flat. Anyway, work. So yes, I've started at the new clinic. I'm not going to lie, it's very, very different to the last clinic I worked at. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just getting used to the new system, getting used to the new routine, the patients. There's such a difference in patients and how things are run and things like that. Um, so for example, at the last surgery I worked at, and some of you might have heard like GPs, GP surgeries have what they call GP partners. So they are the top dogs in GP, basically. They come up with the decisions, the contracts, the money side of things, the funding, what they want to buy for the clinics, all, all the little management type of stuff. Um, and it, this clinic that I'm working out, they don't have GP partners. So our practice manager is basically the manager and they deal with everything. There's no partners at this clinic, which is, is really interesting actually to see. And fortunately, the practice manager is amazing and so lovely. Like I get on so well with her. So I'm really excited for that. At the minute, they've got locum nurses and I'm just working with the locum nurses and the healthcare assistant to sort of get trained up and on the systems and how things work there and things like that. But come December time, the locums are leaving and then it'll just be me. So it's just going to be me as a practice nurse. There's going to be a healthcare assistant. There's going to be an apprentice. I know, I'm so excited to meet the apprentice and um, see what sort of roles and stuff that they do. Because you know I love student nurses and apprenticeships and all that jazz. I love helping people. So that is going to be right up my alley. Um, we've got a paramedic who I sat in with as well on one of the days. So the paramedic uh, is, has a little clinic room and she is amazing. Her knowledge is so good. She seems to get a lot of things like chest infections, um, things like coughs, ongoing stuff that... Um, that she can see but then if she's got any problems then she will refer back to the GP so they have gaps in in their day as well that they meet up and talk about patients if they need to and if they need any antibiotics prescribing or anything like that which I think is a really really good way of working and she can do and see so so much um so it's really interesting to see the sort of things that she she does basically and um what else did I do oh yes yeah, so i had the covid clinics that went really really well um it was run very different to what the last practice was like so this covid clinic was run from the reception of a gp surgery uh, and we had little booths that we both sat in there was two of us and then one of them had one of the clinic rooms it's just a little surgery and then there was a one-way system so they had a tent at the back in the back area that people were waiting for 15 minutes because it's the Pfizer for the boosters everyone's boosters is a Pfizer because the research says that it's, it's way more effective um as a booster and a third dose and all that jazz and if you're worrying about mixing vaccines it's okay research shows that it's okay to have AstraZeneca and Pfizer or Moderna Pfizer whatever um it's not really going to make much difference to you apparently so um yeah so that was really interesting to see that so yeah back to what I was saying so this practice is very different to how it's run I am going to be one of the only nurses there uh come December so I'll be in charge of everything basically i'll be doing everything uh which is scary but actually exciting because i'm going to be learning so much more now um i'm gonna to have to be doing diabetes um some of the the reviews so the cardiovascular reviews things like that just like the basic reviews that we do and then if we have any problems we obviously refer to the gp and things like that i'm going to be doing all the auditing the stock takes um i'm going to be keeping on top of things like the pgds which i did yesterday oh my gosh so yesterday i sat and i went through all of the pgds 
got rid of all of the old ones well not got rid because you have to keep them for so many years so i took out all of the old ones i need to find a folder for them i haven't done that yet because the stock room was closed and i didn't know where the key was and everyone had left by the time i'd uh, gone uh so i've got to do that when i'm next in so i sorted out all the pgd folder it is all organized it's looking fresh and clean i've put it into little div i've put little dividers in so it's all numbered i've put a front sheet to show the numbers and the correspondence to which pgd is what <sighs> I think this is why they hired me because I'm so organized. <laughs> so I sat there for hours. It took me hours to do this, guys. And then I had to go on and update the Excel spreadsheet because I hadn't been updated for a while. And then I updated the vaccine sh schedule, which is at the front of the PGDs that shows when things go out of date so you can monitor it. So I updated all of that. Folders looking amazing. I just need to, on Thursday, uh, organize the old PGDs into a folder, which I'll do. So another big difference in this clinic is the patients. So where I was working before down in Portsmouth, it was very much an elderly population um, and it was very much a lot of leg dressings, a lot of wound care. There was so much, like every single day we would have that. Whereas this clinic, I'm not doing as much. I haven't seen a single wound dressing yet. Um, so this is going to be interesting. So and the population in the area that are a lot of refugees a lot of asylum seekers a lot of interpretation needed and interpreters coming in and things like that with patients so that's really really interesting um and there's things that i just didn't know like things like when you get a new refugee to your clinic you have to do certain things like blood tests make sure they're up to date with their vaccine schedules and things like that if they're not then you give any vaccines that they need um and a lot of them don't have this information so you've got no idea you're just going from a blank canvas so i'm looking at the unscheduled uh what's it called unscheduled immunizations uh list i'm going to put the link below so you can have a look at it so anyone that's got unscheduled or that you just don't know what they've had before that's where you start from so that's what we're doing by the looks of it um and then it looks like they're doing some sort of blood test as well i haven't done this yet or just what i've observed from the other nurses so the doctors will request some blood tests as well just to check for diabetes, cholesterol, all the standard things just to make sure that they're healthy. There's nothing going on underneath um, the blood borne viruses as well. Things like hepatitis, if they're from high risk countries, um, just to make sure that they're well and they're OK. So that's really, really interesting uh, to see that side of things. It's something I've never done before. So I have been on Twitter this week just asking the question, is there any policies, procedures, anything out there that I'm just not finding at the minute? because when I'm looking I can't find anything around new to the UK or refugees and that sort of thing so but it's okay as long as I know what I'm doing and um, you're acting in the best interest of your patient and you can justify your actions it's okay next problem i have is so down in portsmouth i had i was obviously set up to do the cervical screen and i had my pin code and everything like that that you need to take uh, cervical samples because it's a completely different computer system and that um however when i've moved up north it's all gone they can't find me on the system or anything i need to re-register so i've been doing that as well yesterday sorting all of that out just admin things basically so i'm hoping today i'm gonna to have an email with my new registration and come thursday when i go back to work uh it's going to be set up so i'll be able to take smears and blood tests oh just as i was doing a video some amazing amazing person thank you thank you so much to Zoe on Twitter has replied to my tweet about refugees and asylum seekers and there's a toolkit there's a toolkit by the British Medical Association it sounded like I said that really strange then I don't know how that's going to come out but we'll leave it in there for fun uh, or BMA which might be easier to say for me um, yeah so BMA have done a, a really good toolkit I've literally just opened the link and there's loads and loads and loads of stuff on there I'll put the link below if anyone else wants to have a look at it it might be helpful for assignments or if you're dealing with re refugees or asylum seekers anything like that I will put all the links below oh, I'm so excited Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, I can't remember what I was talking about, but any, I'm settling in okay. It's very, very different. There's so much to learn. I'm so excited because I feel like I'm just upskilling all the time in general practice. And I hate it because there's all these myths around that, oh, you're just going to lose your skills and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm upskilling. I'm leveling up at every single place that I've been to. 
um it's amazing like the first place you know i was doing all the basic foundations of general practice getting that foundation in there the second practice i moved to i stepped up i was doing my asthma my copd i got signed off on baby ims i got signed off on cervical screening i'm stepping up again and now i'm going to be doing diabetes i'm doing refugees asylum seekers everything else auditing and all that jazz just amazing guys <laughs> get yourself into gp it's where it's at and not only that i heard down the grapevine that quite recently well i don't know why i'm excited about this because i missed the boat uh, a few months ago they were looking for a sexual health slash contraception specific nurse for the air the whole area that i'm in but the vacancy's gone now i know and they were looking for someone to do it i was like why did no one tell me this is me? I would do that. This is me. This is my love. This is the perfect position. This is what I wanted. I wanted to do sexual health contraception, GP. <sighs> All of the above. Um, but it's gone. So I, manager knows that I am dead keen and dead excited for this. Uh, so uh, hopefully in the future, I might be able to do something like that as well. But I love it all. There's nothing I don't really like about um i mean the baby immunizations is a bit oh, it's just heartbreaking and tricky sometimes and yeah but apart from that i love everything even baby ims i really like baby ims but it's just heartbreaking and it's complex that's why i don't like it uh but yeah i love everything gp it's amazing and like i said i'm upskilling all the time anyway I'm going to just cut this short here now because this video is going to be 100 million hours long and it wasn't going to be. It was only going to be a five minute quick video. So bye, everybody. Have a great week. Here's to week two uh, of my new practice. And here's to showing you all the amazing things I'm going to be doing. Bye for now.